Hey guys, back again with another video. Tonight for dinner, I'm having these glazed lamb chops and I wanted to show you guys how I make them. So let's get into it. First things first, I have this glamorous rack of lamb and I believe it's a pound. I just bought it from the deli in the back of my local grocery store. To help with the searing process, I will be using just some olive oil, about three tablespoons of butter, some minced garlic I have here, fresh is always better. For the seasoning, I have a blend of Tony's Creole seasoning, some Lowry seasoning, and then also some dried rosemary, which again, fresh is always better, just didn't have that today. For the glaze that I'll be using, it's this mint flavored jelly that I got from my local grocery store. And then just to help with the preparation, I will be putting on my little black gloves here. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my lamb chops here. I'm not gonna do it on camera just cause I know it can get just a little bit gruesome. So once I do that, I'll be back and show you all the seasoning. All right, you guys, for the seasoning, it is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of drizzle them in that olive oil like so. And then also with that blend of spices that I showed you all, the Tony's Creole seasoning, the rosemary and Lowry seasoned salt. For the seasoning, I did also just wanna add that you can always go back and add more or less. It's up to you and your taste. I would say to add the seasoning you just saw me use, probably about a teaspoon of each spice, and then see what they're looking like if they look seasoned and look like they'd be pretty flavorful. You could probably move on to the next one and it'll be just fine because the butter and olive oil will also add some flavor while you're cooking it. So that is just something to keep in mind as you are adding your spices. I would say also make sure that you get in kind of the meat around the back of the bone just because you don't want any of your lamb chop to go unflavored. So now to our pan that's set on medium heat, I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit more olive oil. Go ahead and place our lamb chops in the pan, one at a time. So now I'm just gonna let them sear on that one side for probably a good two minutes until I feel like they've gotten pretty seared and are kind of the color that I wanna see. And after that, I'll go ahead and flip them to the other side and then also to the back and kind of let them just continue to cook until they are medium, like I like my lamb chops. <laughs> also, while it's cooking, to help with that browning process, I'll just go ahead and add a little bit of the butter that I had and let it continue to cook. Yes. 
So now that our lamb chops are done, I went ahead and warmed up that mint jelly that we had. And I'm just gonna take my little basting brush and I just brush it ever so gently over across the top of all of them. For maximum flavor, make sure you get the front and back sides of each lamb chop. Now is the time to use your same little brush there and kind of just gently brush the fresh garlic we have. And that's my dinner for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe down below. Check out videos on my page and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.